Hey, what's up everybody? We are out in Skyhold today talking about one of the new features that came with Patch 5 and that's the ability to tint and otherwise customize the color of your armor. That's not just your armor but also your helms. So this is not just for crafted items. This is for any item that you loot in the game. So if you go kill a dragon, find a badass looking piece of armor, except you love the stats and hate the color, uh, the skin is great, but the color is just wrong for you. Uh, you wish you could change it. Um, now you can, which is you know absolutely magnificent. It's a great new feature that they've added, um, and it's also changed the way you look at crafting, or the way some of people will look at crafting, which is you don't always have to um, it, when you're trying to put the best stats on your gear. The best stats don't always come from the best looking items. So if you really want to have some badass armor, uh, but you don't want it to be pink, sometimes you don't have a choice. So for, the, for my wonderful lady viewers out there, uh, maybe that's something you're after. For us guys, n not always. Uh, so what they've done now is allow you to choose the items you want with the stats you want um, and craft them up. And then you have the ability to go to a new tinting table that you find in the Undercroft in order to switch things around with the minimal cost of materials and make it look exactly how you want. So we'll go up here and we're going to switch over to Cassandra here and check out the Duke's Main. Now with this piece of armor, this helm in particular, uh, you do have some options on it. Some helms you can really only select one or two of these crafting slots to change what the helm looks like. You can see up there in the left corner it says some items do not use every tinting slot. That's accurate for some of the items you're going to tint. Uh, the Duke's Main, however, does have some additional options, so that's one that I wanted to show you. The first one, the metal. Uh, you can change the way the mask looks. Unfortunately, you can't change that copper uh, crown that sits on top, but you can change the drape that's behind it. And you can also change what the main looks like. So that's very cool. Uh, definitely a welcome change to being able to customize these. Uh, we'll go choose this, and you can see that this really has no effect on the item. But it's nice to be able to customize it to that extent. If we go back up to select something like the Helm of the Inquisitor, the only thing we can really change with this is the main color of that armor because technically it doesn't have any other pieces to it as far as you would look at it from a logical standpoint. It's just one big piece of metal. So if we select some of these other items here, um, the only thing really changing is you can barely see it, but looks like there's some chain mail or some type of cloth hanging in the very back of it that you can barely tell is changing as I um, move over some of these. You see there's a strange um, highlight change to the helm right there. So not completely bug free. But you can see that, that back piece is changing just a little bit in color. Not too much. Nothing drastic. It's not going to stand out. You can barely see it. Um, but uh, if you go over to like this, you know, nothing nothing's changing with this stuff. If you go to the leather Nothing's changing with the leather. Um, oh, the trim, sorry. The trim changes with the leather back there. This is a bad example, um, just for the fact that you can barely really tell that anything is going on here. Versus with the Duke's Main, it had a lot of options that were very visible. So some of the stuff's just going to be hidden. The Mage Cow, if we go to change and we look at the metal, obviously there's no metal on it, so none of these uh, have any effect on it. We go here and try to look at what this is changing. You can see that this really isn't changing anything. But if we go to this slot, this is actually going to change the full color of it. Right? It doesn't seem like you can change that trim in the front. We come here and try to look and see if this leather is changing anything, and it's not. So it's all going to be based on the item. You're going to have to play around with it on the items you like the most and see what you can get out of it from a customization standpoint. But if we want to check out armor, we check out the uh, armor I have here. Now, this is crafted, sturdy prowler armor. 
The metal piece is obviously going to change the uh, steel or slash metal color of the item and any of the attachments that you have put on it. So the arms and legs will still follow suit just like they do when you craft with a specific uh, piece of metal here, right? So go with purple because purple's badass, right? Um, and if we go over here to the cloth, you can see that the arms are changing with the cloth. And if we come down here to this cloth, you can see that this is changing the kind of the, the collar and the sash. You can see it changes the under color of your cloak. If we switch to that plaid, that's a real uh, easy one to see stand out on the cloak. But if we come up here to the leather piece, this is what's going to change the rest of your armor. So not only is it changing your chest, your lapels there, you can see those change. But if you take a look at the uh, the hands, they're changing color as well underneath the uh, gauntlets that you're wearing. And your boots are also changing. The leather underneath the, your uh, your boots is changing as well. So, And it also changes the color of your cloak, you can see that. So definitely a lot of customization options available for the armor. Once again, I'm guessing, I haven't been through every piece of armor, but I'm going to guess that not every piece of armor is going to have such significant changes applied when you go through and uh, select these various options. But uh, there's definitely a ton of different ways you can customize yourself, make yourself look awesome, or kind of like I look now, which is like a clown. So... Um, I hope this helped and explained how the new tinting feature worked. If you have questions, please post them in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.